Welcome to Photo Play Paper. This is Amy Sonneman, and today I'd like to share with you the latest card size in the Say It With Stamps release for September. These dies are part of the number six card size dies that include envelopes as well as card bases. So first we're going to start with the stitched frames. And I love the idea of the stitched frames because they're nested one inside of the other. So the outside of this frame, the largest frame, fits the card size perfectly. So you're looking at three and a half inches wide by six and a quarter long. So if you want to cover the whole entire card with a card front, you can. Or if you want a little bit of an edge, you can step down one size and you could get a little border around the outside edge. The nice thing about the stitched frames is that you have one that's a stitched frame that covers the whole entire outside of the card. If you look here, you get a solid die as well to be able to mount another piece of paper, maybe a patterned paper, on top of the card base. And then if you want to double mat, there are extra sizes as well. So you've got a little bit smaller stitched rectangle and then the rectangle that nests inside of it. There are also other options inside of the stitched frames. So you get this nice large tag as well as two smaller tags. Each also include the stitched elements. So that's the first one. The next one is called rectangle windows. And the rectangle windows measure three and a quarter wide by six long. So six inches long by three and a quarter wide. It also has two fun frames as well as this great tab that you can easily add fun elements with. There are also some stitched elements inside of the rectangle windows, which are fun as well. The next one is the scallop frames. And the scallop frame measures three and three eighths by six and one eighth inches. That's the largest size. There's also the stitched element inside of the scallop. There's a rectangle that mounts beautifully on top of the large one. There's a smaller size scallop, an even smaller size rectangle. So depending on if you love to layer, they give you lots of options to be able to do that. And then this great stitched tag that would be perfect for gift giving and putting in pockets and so forth. So I love that as well. The next one is the notebook banners die. And if you're like me, I love to journal, but I have to have lines on my page. I want to take some great lined paper, maybe from the recess collection, and cutting out a bunch of journaling spots with this great notebook edge. So it's not necessarily just for cards. You can use it for journaling inside of your pages, for adding fun elements in smaller size cards. You can use just bits and pieces of it. I'm kind of excited to try that. The other dies in this collection are these great banners. So you have this banner as well as, which is more of a traditional kind of banner, you've got this that has the little slide cutouts. So if you want to string it on a piece of maybe ribbon on the front of your card, you could do that. This one has a stitched element on the inside of the banner. And then this one is just a little bit of a rounded edge. The nice thing about these is you can cut them in half. You can cut them anywhere along the line and only use portions or pieces of each of the banners. So depending on how you want to use it, it has lots of versatility to it. Let me show you the rest of the pieces in that collection. This one is the bracket and tag die. The largest one measures three and a quarter inches wide by six inches long. Okay, it has this fun bracket at the bottom of this one. This one has a great tag on the inside that you could easily add a paper strip or a ribbon, perfect for holiday gift giving, birthdays, and so forth. 
I really like that there are extra elements in the bracket and tag dies, including two scalloped circles and two stitched circles. That would be fun for added elements in any of your cards. This is the bracket and speech bubble die. It has a different shaped bracket at the bottom. It measures three and one quarter inch wide by six inches deep. That's the largest size. I'm excited to use the speech bubble with a fun stitched edge around the inside. It also it comes with a tag with a stitched border as well. So I'm excited to play with that and see what you can come up with with this great speech bubble. The last piece in this collection are the border dies, and these can be used with absolutely any card that you make that is six and a half inches or less. So if you love A2 card sizes, this would be great for that. You could just cut off the excess on either side and you'd have some great borders to be able to add as accents and 3D elements. So this is six and a quarter inches long. And then each of the different pieces range from a quarter inch deep to just under a half inch. So some of the bigger ones are right about a half inch deep. Lots of fun shapes, including some different scallops, some little waves, even a postage stamp border. So those are definitely fun to pick up and add a little interest and edge to all of your either number six card sizes as well as any of the card sizes that you currently do, including A2 and so forth. So just because it says number six doesn't mean that it's only for number six. So consider shaking things up and using it on an A2 card size too. So those are the number six card size dies. I kind of want to cut some things out and show you how they layer together so you have a better idea as to how you might want to use them, see them cut in person, and so forth. So hang with me and I'll show you a few of the pieces just to, just to whet your appetite. So stay with me, I'll be right back. This is the number six size card. It's the stitched frames die. And the card base for the number six card size is measuring three and a half by six and a quarter. Okay, so each of the dies fit beautifully on top of that card size. So the largest die fits perfectly on top of the white card base with no border. Okay, the next piece creates a little bit of a border, like this. Then you have the next size down. Each of the blue pieces have a beautiful stitched edge to them as well, which I love so much. Then there's also another rectangle that's just a straight rectangle, and those nest beautifully one on top of the other like so. Then we have a large tag that also has a stitched edge around it. Then there's this fun little tag, as well as this great circle tag. Those are the pieces that you can cut with the number six stitched frame dies. And those all fit perfectly on top of the number six card base. This is the rectangle windows die set. It comes with four dies. The first one is this great three panel frame. Each of the frames has a little stitched border accenting the outside of the frame. When you put it over the top of the card base, the number six card base, it gives you a perfect white edge around the outside. It also gives you three windows like this. So all of the rectangles do not have a stitched frame. They're just regular rectangles. So save those because each of these pieces will cut these out perfectly. So you can use your extra paper to cut out your tab or tags. Now the tag and tabs look like this. So here's the first one. Here's the second, 
And then I think this tab is going to be so much fun to play with. You could easily stamp a date in it, tuck it underneath a picture, add a little caption. So cute. Now I want to show you the difference from using a patterned paper to using a solid piece of cardstock. Gives it a totally different effect. Super fun. You can pop in your patterned papers underneath. You can make a shaker card. You can add a little bit of foam tape underneath the frame. You can give it depth and dimension. You can have little animals or people or sayings peeking or poking out from behind each of the frames. So there's lots of fun ideas and options to be able to use the rectangular windows. This is the scalloped frames set. And here's what all of the pieces look like. This is the scalloped frame, which is the largest die in the set. And when it gets laid over the top of your card base, you're going to get a teeny tiny white edge around the outside. There's also a white piece that goes inside that creates a nice little border of stripes. There's another piece that is a scalloped edge as well. It also has a little dot etched into just the inside of the scallop, so it's very pretty. There is also a piece that goes on top of that. So if you want to stamp a saying or do a some sort of big scene or whatever, you have these extra pieces that are just long rectangles to do that in. Easily ink them and so much more. The last piece in this set is this great tag. So you could do all of your birthday tags or Christmas tags quick and easy with just this one die. Those are all of the pieces in the scalloped frame set. This is the notebook and banners die set. It is a number six card size. It includes this amazing notebook die and I combined it with the notebook paper from the recess collection to create this great little journaling spot. There are also four banners. So there is a banner with just a teeny bit of a rounded corner. There's a banner that has the holes cut out to be able to string a piece of ribbon through. There's a stitched banner, so the whole outside edge has a stitched element to it. And this is the plain edged banner. If you add the notebook frame on top of the card base, the number six card base, which again is three and a half by six and a quarter, it gives the perfect edge all around the outside. Now the banners can be used vertically or horizontally. You can add a little interest from the top, from the side, run it all across the whole edge for a sentiment. You can add 3D foam tape to give it a 3D effect, a little bit of dimension and depth. Lots of different options with the banners. Again, that is the Notebook and Banners die set. This is the Bracket and Tag die set. It includes this great bracket, as well as this fun tag. Two circles that have a stitched border around the outside, as well as two fun little scalloped circles. If you were to put each of these pieces on top of the card base, which measures three and a half by six and a quarter. It would look like this with a great edge around the outside. I love the fact that you can mix and match the different pieces, the circles and the flowers. So you can mix and match this way. Or that way. So lots of different options for added elements 
to your cards. And again, that is the bracket and tag die set. These are the die cut pieces that get cut out of the bracket and speech bubble die set. So you have this great speech bubble with a fun stitched element around the outside edge. I cut the speech bubble out of a piece of paper from the recess collection to be able to add it as a journaling spot. You could add just plain white paper, you could type up your journaling on your computer and then cut out the text on the speech bubble as well. There's also this bracket as well as a tag. So if you were to add those on top of the card base, it would look like this. So if you centered it at the top, it would give you a nice little edge around the outside. You could add the speech bubble if you'd like, or even a tag. So those are the pieces in the bracket and speech bubble die set. The last number six card size die set is the border dies. And there are six borders in different sizes and different shapes. So each of the borders measure six and a quarter inches tall. But as you can see, the depth of each of them varies just a little. So somewhere between a quarter inch and a half inch is what they measure. So there's everything from a postage stamp, a small scallop, a larger scallop, a fun little lace scallop, an even bigger scallop, and then more of a wave. Those are all six of the border dies. The one thing I want to point out is just because it says that they're made for the number six card size doesn't necessarily mean that that's the only card size that they fit on. It just means that they are tall enough to be able to fit the number six size perfectly. But you can also turn them this way and use them on any card size, including an A2, because an A2 size is four and a quarter by five and a half. So you'll have extra room if you decide to use any of these borders on your A2 card size as well. So lots of options for all your card making. Keep that in mind as you use the border dies from the Say It With stamp set. Thanks for joining me today. If you liked this video, please like, share, and leave a message. If you come up with something adorable and we would love to see it, you can always include us in a hashtag. Just tag us at hashtag photoplaypaper. We would love to see your creations. And who knows, you might even see your beautiful creation on our Instagram feed. Have a great day and thanks for watching.